Hey everybody, this is Chris, and uh, this is the way you're going to get it for a little while here during this whole uh, COVID-19 thing. Um, I know that at least here in the U.S., it's, you know, practice social distancing, um, but I'm going to be a responsible person and take it to the next level and just... Uh, if I don't have to be outside, I'm not going to be outside. So, um, you know, doing my YouTube content and stuff like that, you're not going to see me going out to uh, the reservoir or a park or anything like that uh, until we get through this whole thing. So, um, if you don't have to work or anything, uh, practice quarantine. Um, if you have to work, go to work, come home. Don't. Don't go anywhere else. Stay the f home. Um, that's the responsible thing to do. This is serious. And uh, I don't think people are taking it serious enough. Um, if you have elderly in your family, you have somebody sick, as I do in my family with my mother having cancer. Um, when I see people out and about and gatherings and parks and things like that, um, it kind of ticks me off because you're not taking it serious. So if you don't have to go anywhere, you're a YouTube creator, uh, you want to get out there and fly and show this or that, uh, think about it. Just do what you can from home. Um, be responsible. And like I said, just stay the home, okay? <laughs> um, this whole thing just pisses me off. Uh, when I see irresponsible people um, out and about uh, where there's other people. And even if you're practicing social distancing, uh, you're touching things. And all it takes is you to pass it on, them to pass it on to you, what have it. But then it just keeps spreading and spreading. Uh, so the smartest thing to do is just practice quarantine. Uh, there's some other countries that have done some very aggressive quarantine um, uh, they've implemented uh, strict quarantines and uh, have been successful in it, and our country has not done that. So uh, we are kind of swimming in uh, a mess here that's continuing to grow with this uh, coronavirus. So I'm doing my content in the home, in my home. I'm not going out in public. And what this is, is we're going to talk about these stupid firmware updates uh, that we're forced to do. And now we're forced to do app updates, at least on the Xeno, the original Xeno and the Xeno Pro. I think the original Xeno. I have not tried it, but I did, I did come across this with the Xeno Pro. And many of you already know this because you've probably faced it too. But uh, this one I had uh, somebody sent me to work on. Uh, because it needed a new camera. So I'll actually show you the camera. <laughs> Here's his camera right here. That was his original camera. So um, I replaced the camera, fixed everything. Good as new. No, nice, almost looks like brand new. Put a new camera on there, wanted to test it and uh, connected to the app and I got the forced app update prompt. I've never ever ever had that with the X Hubson app. So it popped up, said that a new version of the app is available and it did not give me a prompt of yes or no option. So I had to do that update. I did that update, connected everything, and then it told me I had to update my FC. Another thing that we've never had happen with the Xeno Pro, and I'm assuming it's happening with the regular Xeno 2. Uh, I just have not fired that up. And I don't even think there's an update right now for it, but uh, a new flight control anyhow. So I had to update the flight control on the Xeno Pro along with the app, and I was not giving the given the decision decision to exit out of that or not. So now we have the uh, Xeno 2 and I know there is a new app update and I'll put that up on the screen but uh, yesterday a new app update popped up 
and it does give us the option to update or not. So that's good. Uh, so I don't know if they're just, there's no consistency here. You're making us update on one, you're giving us the option on another, you're still forcing us to update the flight control and such, um, or the controller. So, uh, it, there's like no consistency in this. It's like they're kind of practicing that Hubson way where they learn as they go instead of test it, test it, test it, give it to us after it's been tested. Um, obviously there's no testing here because who is going to, you know, do this app process and force you on one and then give you an option on another. That just doesn't make sense. And then force you to do the op updates. I know other quads do this where you are forced, uh, Paradinafi, um, let me turn that off. Paradinafi, you're forced, uh, Femi X8SE, you can, you can opt out and then continue to fly. Uh, so I know there's other company or other quads that do this, um, but it's ridiculous. You, you, you've got people that want to go out and fly, they get out on the field and then they have to do a firmware update and it takes about 10, 15% of their battery uh, on the quad. It takes battery from the controller and then it shortens the flight time for the day, depending on how many batteries they have. The last thing you want to do when you get out there is do an up, uh, update on your quad. So let's go ahead and we're going to power everything up on the Xeno 2. This one here uh, I'm going to enter, introduce to you. This is a, a, somebody I know uh, was a subscriber of mine and then uh, he's also in my Facebook group. But uh, uh, we called this one Tree Hugger because uh, he crashed it into a tree and I tried to rescue it. I couldn't get it. It spent the night in the rain. Had to go back the next day with my son. Tried to get it again. Couldn't get it. So we ended up having to knock it out of the tree and then it went into the reservoir where you guys see me fly. And it spent a little bit of time there. We, my son went into the freezing cold water, uh, got it out and uh, I finally have it all dried out. I took the whole thing apart. I took every, every piece of internal parts out of it, uh, dried them off, cleaned them, uh, and the only thing that suffered was the battery. Camera's perfect. I got all the condensation out of there. Everything is perfect on it. So uh, we're going to use this one in our video today. So meet Tree Hugger. Uh, there's a video I think to come on that. <laughs> uh, I did get some footage uh, for the rescue, but we're going to turn them on and we're going to open up the app and see how it's prompting us for the... Uh, for the app update. So, um, and then I'll show you the app update on the screen. So everything's fired up. Let's uh, open the app and then I'm not gonna do anything but just open it and it's gonna give us that, op there it is. It's gonna give us that option, sorry. It's a prompt and it just says, a uh, new version application is detected, whether or not to upgrade. I'm going to say no in this case so we can move on and not worry about it, but I'll put it up on the screen. Here's your app, uh, your new app update. Here's the changes for it. Go ahead and look at that, and I'm going to say no. All right, so you saw, uh, like most updates, some things that probably don't even really some things that you won't even really notice uh, but in this one it's something with follow me I don't know what they've gone and done there I'm not a big feature flyer uh, it had something for uh, doing your YouTube live streams um, on there I'm just going to assume there's probably going to be some bugs there still uh, and it's not something that I, I think I would really need to jump and do my upgrade for um, and then uh, fix known bug issues uh, that could mean anything and usually it's something you're not even gonna see so you know there's no need to rush out and do that kind of update you want to just kind of see what everything else goes and then there's there's things added that usually don't pertain to you or I they pertain to other people so 
uh, Hubson's taking care of that in the app as well. So let's go ahead and enter the device. So that's where we're at. Enter device. And I'm sorry, I know it's hard to see the screen. So enter main interface. And then we're just going to have our FPV. Oh, we have a plot update. Firmware upgrade, the new remote firmware can be used. So actually it's good this happened. I'm not going to go through what I was going through, but <laughs> now we have a change uh, in the video. We have a forced update. So it's actually good because you can see um, we have no we have no dismiss. We have no yes or no. We just have a upgrade option. I think you can see that pretty good now <laughs> so you're out on the field you want to go fly and you have to upgrade this controller and then after I upgrade the controller there might be a update for the quad so this is a good this is good timing for this to happen what are you doing Hubson give me the option it was working so don't force me to do the update I can do it later and I'd rather wait and see um, if anybody else is having an issue plus you haven't worked out the issues with the upgrade process as it is I can upgrade it fine on my iOS device but there's a lot of Android devices that are having problems doing firmware upgrades so if, if somebody that is having that issue goes out on the field after finally upgrading it from a previous version uh, goes out on the field to fly and then they're first forced to do an upgrade and their Android device is known to have problems doing these upgrades where say it freezes and they can't get through it by rebooting the quad or anything so they're done they're done they have to go back home they can't fly until they can resolve their their upgrade process so this whole thing is just ridiculous so uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video and again just put the put the word out there email hubson message hubson stay on their butts and quit and tell them quit giving us the force update give us the yes or no option for everything i get an app update on my my xeno pro i want the option yes or no i don't want to be forced to update my apps we all if you've been with hubson long enough you know uh you can have you can completely be have your app rendered useless by one bad update and I I am not one and you don't see it on my channel I am not one to jump into an update whether it be app or quad rush out the door and give you a video showing you nothing because that's usually what the updates are but I don't also I also don't want to be that guy that has to do this update and then I can't even use my quad to go out and show you content or go out and fly for myself. So uh, I'm forced to update the app on the Xeno Pro. Uh, I'm forced to update the FC now, at least the FC. And I'm forced to update the firmware on the Xeno 2. I'm forced to update the, the uh, firmware on the quad, I mean the controller. Sorry, I can't talk today and uh, the only option I have is whether or not to update the app so there's again no consistency it's like they're learning as they go they're not they're not trying this stuff out they're not saying okay well it's stupid to make them update the Xeno Pro but not the Xeno 2 app uh, but yet they're consistent on forcing us to do everything else uh, so Send them an email, send them a message, tell them to knock this crap off, quit forcing us to do the updates. Uh, they're not thinking about how it affects other people. Again, I don't have any problem doing it. It's just I don't want to do it. I'm happy with it, how it flies today. I don't want to screw it up tomorrow because you're forcing me to do an update. So uh, that's basically what this whole video is about is just to... Uh, Encourage people to take action and let them know you're not happy about it. A, a new quad owner, to say this is your first quad, 
you're not familiar with all this. Uh, the very last thing you want to do is get your quad and have an update issue with your Android device, you know, the compatibility issue there. Uh, get out on the field and have to do a firmware update. Um, you know, it's just crazy. It's stupid. So, again, it's nothing new. Uh, and, uh, you know, Paradinafi forces you to do it, but I trust their firmware for one. Uh, uh, Femi X8 SE, that's the one I like. I can, I get the firmware update prompt and I can put it aside and say, nope, I'm not going to do it. I want to go fly. And uh, that's the way I think Hubson should be doing it too. I'm not sure if that's the direction they're trying to get to and they're just having a problem. It's hard to say. But uh, this is not the way um, I pictured things going with the Xeno 2. So uh, again, um, I'm not going to do this up, upgrade. I'm going to, let's go ahead and just click it and see what it says, what they've changed. So this is for the controller. Uh, what's updated? Optimize remote control stability. That's it. So maybe that's another one. Uh, maybe that has to do with the app update you saw on the screen. Uh, so maybe, Maybe that's just not for me. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe that maybe that updates for somebody else. So uh, if you you know uh, the app update that I put up on the screen, uh, I think it was number four. The issue they uh, added or the feature they added there uh, or the fix sounds like it goes with this controller update of optimized remote control stability. So again, this isn't something I need because I'm very stable with my Xeno 2, but yet I am forced to do this update. So it's a bummer. Uh, for some, it's you know it's no big deal. We have iOS that seems to be working perfectly fine. I can do this update pretty quickly, but again, I just don't want to be doing it out on the field, and I don't want this forced crap with my Xeno Pro. So. Um, Knock it off, Hubson. It's getting ridiculous. And uh, again, everybody, hit them with messages. Hit them with emails. Um, on Facebook, It's your best bet is to, to message Sam Lee. Uh, you can find that person in the um, uh, Hubson official group on Facebook. And um, just flood them with messages. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. And... Um, We'll just say to be continued on this one, and uh, if things change in this area, uh, which I'm sure if it does change, it'll be baby steps. Right now we have the option on the app. Maybe they'll just give us the option on the controller, but force us on the quad. That's kind of the way Hubson seems to go and do things, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, and um, if there's any changes or updates, we'll talk about it in the next video on this topic. So. Uh, that's all I have to say. You can leave your comments down below and um, tell me what you think about it and what problems it's caused you. That's a, that's a good thing to put in the comments uh, if you are one of those Android users that are having the upgrade issues um, where it freezes up and you just can't get past it or you have to do it 10 times to get through it. So uh, leave a comment down below and as always, thank you everybody for watching. Um, Hit that bell for future content. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And as always, on your way out, hit that thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.